In this Photoshop tutorial, let's talk about making the background transparent here in Photoshop. When you start a new document, the default background is white. We actually see that background layer here in our layers panel. Any layer you create on top of this, it doesn't matter, that background is always going to be white. There are two things you can do in the updated version of Photoshop. The first you can do in your document setting here, you can actually see that there's a fill of white on your canvas. We can switch that to transparent just by doing that right there. And you can see now what it actually does is it unlocks that background layer and deletes out the contents. So now that that layer is completely transparent, you can tell that it's transparent because it includes this transparency checkerboard pattern. That's when you know there's transparency out here. So now if you were to do something like create a shape out here and just let go, it's going to create that shape, but also it's going to be transparent behind it. So when you save this out as a proper file format, like a PNG, it will include the transparency. Now let's back that up a little bit. So maybe you don't see this canvas document setting. What we used to do is just take this background layer, go click the lock icon over here, which turns it into a basic layer. And you can't delete this because you have to have at least one layer uh, in your document. But you could do two things. You could select everything and delete out the pixels. But what I would do is create a new layer because all new layers come in as blank. And then we could just delete out this white layer. And so we select it, hit the delete key, and now we're at that same spot that we were before, a single transparent layer. Any layer we put on top of this will include that transparency underneath. Now you can create new documents to start with transparency. To do that, go to File, New. Obviously put in the size that you want, but down here under Background Contents, we can select a few different options, one of those being transparent. So we can hit Create on that, and instead of a white background, it's actually just gonna create this transparent background. So it starts us with a transparent background. Now, if we were to save this out and we want to save it with the transparency, because why else do we have a transparent background? First, I'm going to type in some text out here. I'm going to click the Move tool, press Command or Control T, and we're going to scale this text up so that we can see it. And the reason I'm doing this is so we actually have something on our background. Let's make that text red, and you don't need to follow along, but let's say I just have this piece of text out here. Maybe this is the logo. Uh, you have here in here at Photoshop or something that you want to save out with that transparency included. We need to go up to File, down to Save As or Save a Copy. Save a Copy will include all the image formats, so I would click on that one. Now within here, we have format options. Here are some of the formats that include transparency. Photoshop, obviously. Photoshop PDF, or essentially a PDF document, will include transparency. PNG can include transparency. And TIFF can include transparency. JPEG cannot include transparency, so it will make anything transparent white. So if you were to save this as a JPEG, you would see that hello text with a big white background. But if you save it as a PNG, you do get to include the transparency in that. Same thing if you select PDF, and same thing if you select TIFF. All three of those can include transparency in the Layers panel. So the main thing you need to look at is that you have no layer underneath your main layer, or that you have a transparent layer underneath everything. You have to remove that white background by unlocking it, deleting it out, before you put any other elements on. Or after the fact, if you're opening up a Photoshop document that has a white background in it or any other background. And the main thing you need here is to see that checkerboard pattern to know you have a transparent background in Photoshop.